Welcome to this video on first generation of computers. This learning video will enable you to identify the first generation of computers, examine the technology in this generation and explain the developments in this generation. Let us begin by learning about the characteristics of the first generation of computers. These computers had some distinct characteristics. They used vacuum tubes for circuitry, magnetic drums for memory and punch card and paper tapes for input and output. These computers were typically huge and took up entire rooms. Let us look how the magnetic drum worked. The drum is a metal cylinder coated with magnetic iron oxide which acts as a storage device on which data and programs can be stored. Magnetic drums were once used as a primary storage device but now they are used as supplementary storage devices. The tracks on a magnetic drum are assigned to channels located around the circumference of the drum, forming adjacent circular bands. A single drum can have up to 200 tracks and rotates at a speed of up to 3000 rpm. Magnetized spots are deposited on the drum by the read-write head deposit during the write operation and these spots are sensed during a read operation. This action is similar to that of a magnetic tape or disk drive. The primary disadvantages of the first generation computers were that they were very expensive to operate, consumed an enormous amount of electricity and generated a lot of heat. These disadvantages often resulted in the malfunctioning of the device. First generation computers relied on machine language to perform operations and could solve only one problem at a time. Machine language are entirely made up of binary numbers and therefore difficult to understand. Computer programmers therefore use either high level programming languages or an assembly language. An assembly language contains the same instructions as a machine language with instructions and variables having names instead of just numbers. Packages written in high-level programming languages are retranslated into assembly language or machine language by a compiler. Assembly language programs are retranslated into machine language by a program called an assembler. Every CPU has its own machine language. Therefore, programs must be rewritten or recompiled to run on different types of computers. Perfect examples of first generation computing devices are UNIVAC and ENIAC. UNIVAC stands for Universal Automatic Computers. The UNIVAC was the first commercial computer delivered to a business client, the US Census Bureau, in 1951. ENIAC is the acronym for Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computers. It is the world's first operational electronic digital computer developed by Army Ordnance to compute World War II ballistic firing tables. The ENIAC weighed 30 tons and used 200 kilowatts of electric power. ENIAC contained some kinds of electrical devices such as 18,000 vacuum tubes, 1,500 relays, hundreds of thousands of resistors, capacitors and inductors. ENIAC's field of application include weather prediction, atomic energy calculations, cosmic ray studies, thermal ignition, random number studies and wind tunnel design and other scientific uses. ENIAC soon became obsolete due to the need for faster computing speeds. Key points discussed in this video A magnetic drum also referred to as drum is a metallic cylinder coated with magnetic iron oxide. Machine language is the only language that is understood by computers. An assembly language contains the same instructions as a machine language. UNIVAC stands for Universal Automatic Computers. ENIAC is the acronym for Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computers.